the African continent has seen worse days caused by the change in both the weather and climate. Erratic rains, flood and burning sun all affected economic activities, especially the agriculture sector. The African Union says it's helping member states to cope up with the environmental change. Uh, we help um, uh, member states to come up with um, uh, policy documents, implementable po policy documents. Uh, we don't actually uh, do policies for each individual country, but we actually provide them with platform uh, and also um, actually make a dialogue uh, and create um, a dialogue among member countries and identify which is the most appropriate uh, technology to use, which way uh, they have to follow. Uh, and therefore, this is our uh, role. The AU claims it has one of the most environmentally friendly office compounds and buildings in the continent. Here, the African Union headquarters has world-class solar electric generating system. All street lights and some internal equipments get their power supply from these solar panels all across the compound. There's more. Here, there's garden in the making. All member states have trees under their names. The question is, what more success stories can the African Union talk about when it comes to preserving the environment in the continent? Basically, we can mention, for instance, the Green uh, Great Work for the Sahara, uh, which is actually a huge program. Uh, now, it is one of the uh, important flagship programs. Uh, and also, we actually uh, coordinate and create platform, for instance, for our African ministers in environment, uh, in water, in meteorology, and so on, uh, so that our growth actually uh, uh, to be green. Uh, that means climate resilient and green growth is actually what we are promoting. The African continent wants to see more success stories in the area of environmental protection and climate change. After all, it is Africa which is most affected by the latest change. Still, there are significant challenges witnessed in Africa when it comes to fully protecting the environment so that generations to come won't be affected. One can simply see where it's ranging from mining to agriculture, mostly done in the continent without considering their environmental contraindications. The continent needs to walk the talk of implementing protocols signed. Groomdala CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.